var. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I will be doing a beauty life hack video. So yesterday I was scrolling on Instagram and I came across this beauty life hack page and I was like, wait a minute, do these actually really work? And I picked out some of the most popular ones and I wanted to test them to see if they actually work in reality because behind the camera the people could be lying and I was like, yo, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna see if it actually works. So I thought, why don't I make a video on me testing these for you guys to see if they actually work and if it's actually worth wasting your time. And yeah. So if you guys are new and not yet subscribed yet, go hit that subscribe button down below and go hit the bell notification so you guys get notified when I post. And when if you guys are not yet following me on my social medias, they're all linked down below. And yeah, let's just get into the video. All right, so the very first life hack is, it said grab some tweezers and grab some brow gel. And basically what it says to do is grab the tweezers, put the product on tips of them, I'm pretty sure. And then it says to make a shape of basically your brows. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab my brow boy and then I'm gonna put it on. And well, I'm gonna try it now. I'm not gonna start up front because my brow, I'm gonna get it to this shape. Okay, there you go. Did it really do anything? Okay, um, the brow product's on there. I must say, I don't really see a difference. I mean, okay, it did make a line. It did make a slight line on it. So, I mean, if you don't have thick brows and you want to, like, have a brow shape that you can go by, using tweezers to get that shape of it, not the, like, in, but the outline of it, I might actually say this works. This is okay. I'm not gonna say it, like, fully works. It doesn't work with brow gel. That's the one thing. It does not work with brow gel. Go ahead and use a brow pomade instead of a gel or a pencil because, well, those don't do anything for you. All right, the very next thing is a cut crease. So for cut creases, it says to grab a spoon. I don't know how this is gonna work. So basically it's like grab a spoon and put it over your eyelid and that's gonna tell you exactly where you need to put the eyeshadow and you're just gonna color it up there. You're supposedly supposed to take it off and you have a cut crease. Let's see if that actually works. Um, I don't know if this is working. Oh, ow, okay, ow, ow, ow. I'm pushing way too far out. My eyes are gonna gouge out, okay. Ow, that really hurt, but Okay, um, okay. I don't know what to say about this. It kind of works, but for someone, I do cut creases a lot. And well, it, I think it's the fact that I couldn't see what I was doing because I was just literally sitting here in the same place going like that and not like blending up. So I mean, if I saw exactly what I was doing, this would actually work. So I might actually say it did work because if you do a cut crease that goes and it goes out, I would actually say it does work. So, does the cut crease with a spoon work? I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. The next one is, if you have trouble putting on eyeliner, you can grab a eyelash curler and some liquid eyeliner and then put it on the eyelash curler. You'll have a line where your eyeliner needs to go. So, for this one, I'm gonna take off my eyelashes right here. Yeah, these aren't real. I wish they were, but I'm gonna put it... Supposedly, you have to work fast for this, so let's, let's just go. This does not work, not at all. This is the fail, this is a legit fail. Look at my eye, look at it. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Okay, so the next beauty hack is another eyeliner hack. Grab a knife. <laughs> for safety purposes and for anyone at home, use a butter knife or any other knife instead of this knife. So I am gonna grab a knife, not the sharp side, the side that's not sharp, and I'm gonna make a straight line like that and I'm gonna put eyeliner on like this. I don't know if it works. I have a lot of people who have done it, but I am not makeup talented. So you grab your product, place your knife on your eye. That looks so ugly. This looks so bad. I don't know. I just, I literally, I suck at eyeliner. I don't put eyeliner on. I just, I am not good with eyeliner. So, I mean, can this work? Yes, there, but then it just got thick I don't know how to put eyeliner on. Ew, I suck at makeup. These aren't even like friends, they're acquaintances that they only met once. So, does the knife eyeliner work? If you wanna try it, go ahead. You're probably more talented than me, but this just did not work. This is not, you're not gonna be cutting people with that. So, the next thing is mascara. So, I read if you warm it up in your bra, it will spread easier. So if your mascara isn't spreading easy or it's just not working out for you that day, put it down in your bra, get it warm, and then it spreads easier. I'm going to take off this eyelash. So I'm going to put on the normal mascara without warming it up. I'm going to see if there's difference on this side than that side. So 
that is my mascara on the one eye that is not warmed up. So now I'm going to close this and I'm just going to put it on my shirt to get it all nice and warm. So the very next thing is fake freckles. I personally love freckles. I wish I had more. I usually only have them when I'm out in the sun a lot. So it said to grab a toothbrush and then some product. So I'm using this contour stick. I'm pretty sure it's from Wet n Wild, but I don't know. So I want to grab a toothbrush and it said to grab the product and just dab it on there. And I don't think this is going to work. You know what? It's fine. We're going to try it. So it said to get your product and just put it on your face. I, might, I think I just need more. Let me, let me put some more. If I just like rubbed, oh, this looks like legit poop on here. I think I put way too much. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna focus, but oh, I'm scared. Oh, nope. Yeah, wow, totally natural freckles. Let me just put this all over my face. This look, this legit looks like poop. This looks like poop. So, since I knew it was not gonna work with the toothbrush, I wanted to do exactly what I usually do for fake freckles. So, what I usually do is I grab a brush that has a really small end, like this, and what I do is I grab the product that I was using, and I just, I dip it in like this, and I then just dab it on there nice and lightly. So like they're smaller dots and I just put them wherever I want. Once I do that, I sometimes just dab them in to make them more of a natural look into them. Oh my God, I am like, what did I do here? I'm like, oh, oh gosh, I don't know what to say about that. The toothbrush hack does not work. If you guys want to try it out, I wasted a whole toothbrush on me trying to put fake freckles on my face because I want to be more cute and pretty. But you know, it just, just things don't work out for me. But yeah, so this is what I do for my fake freckles if I ever put them on. I just get a brush and I just do it that way instead of putting a toothbrush with tons of product on it and then I put it on my face because that does not work, obviously. So if you guys ever want to put fake freckles on, just get a small brush, get some product, and bam. So before we go on to the last thing, I will do the mascara. So since it's nice and warm now, I have another life hack along with that. So the next life hack of it is basically saying if you want a bigger and wider eye look, you brush in instead of brushing upward with mascara. Wow. <laughs> Okay, wow, one minute. This is actually somewhat working. So let me just first say, warming up your mascara does work. Does it have to be in your bra? No. Does it have to be anywhere on your body? No, you can just get some hot water and warm it up yourself if you want to. I think that's that. So before we go on, let me just clean where I touched that. All right, so since the freckles failed on that side, I actually want to say and proud of it my eyelashes do look a lot better on that side warming up your mascara with water or anything that is warm does work i mean it does not look bad i actually like how my eyelashes look in that the freckles on the other hand on this side which is your left side of the camera or left side of your screen so these are all the beauty hacks but i have one more that i really wanted to test out because i just wanted to test it out so badly and it is using fire to get rid of your dead ends. So what it says is to grab a lighter and then grab a piece of hair. Grab a piece of hair that has a lot of dead ends. And then it says to twist it. So it says get the fire and then burn it. Woo. Oh my gosh. Oh. I don't know if this is focusing, but okay, my hair smells burnt now. Cause you know like how people say burning your hair is very unhealthy for your hair, so why would you put a lighter in your hair? You know what, actually I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna find a like single piece. I mean, okay, if you do it strand by strand, it does work. Whoa. So crazy. If you do a huge piece of hair, you almost burn your entire 
piece of hair off. Also, my hair is like burnt together and it looks so nasty. But basically, does it work? Yes. Should you do it? No. Would it be fun to do it? Yes. <laughs> all right, guys. So these are all the beauty hacks that I had today. About four out of eight work. So 50-50. Well, kind of five out of eight. So yeah, go try them out for yourself. But yeah. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this of me actually testing out life hacks, not just beauty hacks, but more of life hacks, give this video a thumbs up and I will most definitely do it. And I will see you guys next time I post. Did